I'm Anne Marie Barton. Join me as I help homeowners reimagine their spaces. Discovering an atmosphere of beauty, peace, and tranquility from simple changes to sweeping transformations. I'll be sharing my process, tips, and of course, my vision. With the help of 3D renderings, we'll reveal exactly what's possible, creating an environment of beauty where form and function matter. This is The Vision Maker. Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, I'm Tanner. Welcome Welcome to to our our home. home. So Tanner and I are married. We've been married for... Almost eight years. Almost eight years, that's so crazy. Um, And we've lived in this house for about two years now, which is also wild to say. In just a few, two more months, we'll have a little baby boy who's cooking in here right now. (laughs) Yeah, super stoked on that. We're so excited. Yeah. Number one. Yeah, and we want it to be cozy for him. And um, I don't know, baby proofing is another thing. I feel like. I think it's fairly baby proof. We'll see though, I'm not sure. There is that bookshelf that's cracked. It's kind of rickety and and I would love maybe some more storage space because it's open shelving on the bookshelf. It limits your ability. Like we're gonna have bottles and pacifiers and all kinds of baby gear that we don't really have right now and we don't have anywhere to put it. So that's that's definitely a need. Just finding more function I think in the space would be really awesome because it's just kind of this is the main level of our home and to have more use would be great. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we we are in Malibu up in the hills and this house starts with this beautiful garden terrace down. I know it leads right to the most beautiful views. I can't wait to go inside. I know there's some areas that they've already done, but I'm here to look at those that they need to do. Let's go see. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Look at this view. Oh my gosh, this must be why they bought this house. Let's go. Hello, come <laughs> Hi, on in. how are you? Hi, so good, it's good to see you. you. Thank you. Welcome, good to see you again. Oh come on in. Oh my gosh, guys, this feels so good in here. Thank you. I mean, everywhere I look already, I love it. <laughs> so <laughs> what yeah, is not so complete? Sweet. Because I just <laughs> want to just move in here. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to look at those views yet, because <laughs> I know I'm never going to leave. So, baby coming in two months, you're wondering how to make this maybe a little bit more child friendly? We have so many ideas. So my first thing, which is obvious, A and B. What do we do here? This has been empty for two years. Thank goodness you didn't put the TV there. Okay, good. good. I'm glad. (laughs) Tell us where to put the TV. We've had some ideas. Like we've been looking for like the coolest piece of like driftwood. That we like that like twists and stuff. I haven't found one yet. I'm like always looking at the beach, but like I'm curious, like what can we do with this situation? It is a situation. Um, Well, what I I do like that you have this extra space to put something of an artful nature here. Yeah. I'm thinking sculpture, Mm. maybe not the driftwood. Yeah. That's just where I am. I'm yeah. with you. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. uh, that chain art that's kind of sculptural. Mm. Oh, I yeah. love that feeling. Yeah. I think it's probably time that you continue to add artwork into yeah. the space that you can collect. And this seems to have more of a ta-da moment. Mm-hmm. And maybe the driftwood is more common. Right. So this sort of feels good. And then I think I'd be putting a couple of ottomans here. Mm, because cool. pretty soon you're going to be sitting here playing with the baby. Okay. Mm. But also it will just help cozy up because this is kind of cold. Yeah. yeah. So just a little warmth right here. Yeah. So what else is your burden in here? Because it's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, this I feel like I would love. I love that you are just the expert and you know the little rules and the dimensions. So we have this piece, which is fun. It feels very beachy and it has the movement across yes, the front. Yes, I love but it. But it feels like awkward with the TV and the height. Um, and it's kind of. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, let's hear. What it. if you take the legs off? That's okay. Yeah, we thought we've, we've thought just about that. Lower that. It, but hearing you say that is okay. Yeah, cool. So we've valid. thought the same thing. Then I would remove a few things here and simplify. Yeah. You know, cool. it's maybe got a, a little too much on there. Cool. Great. I like that plan. Okay. 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 
Well, right when you walk in, this is sort of the first thing we see. Mm. Yeah. So I think it needs to add up a little bit more and get a little bit bigger and also mm. the lamp a little bit bigger as well. Mm. So I love the demure nature of all these color tones, but I think I could go a little more interesting and maybe a, just a little more dynamic in the yeah. space. Possibly not square. The sofa is mm. very angled, yeah. very straight. It might be nice if this is an organic piece. Ooh, yes. Mm, cool. um, and then the lamp could be just a little bit taller, uh, grander. Yeah. Maybe more interesting. It is interesting. Totally. Yeah. No, I get it. Even more. I love that. And I love the fluffy rug. Um, in a perfect world, this rug might have come a little bit larger. Right. But at the same time, when you do the little day bed, it's just about right. So you're in pretty good shape. Okay. Let's cool. talk more about cool. toys. What else are you gonna do? Because they're coming. I know. Yeah. Have we thought? Remember your idea about hanging? I know. Something? We have this idea, and it wouldn't be like a, a permanent thing, but yeah, no, you could easily hang. They have those cute little baby swings. Like oh we have these beams. That could. Yeah. Because oh we, we watch the sunset. We watch the light. Right here. <laughs> yeah. In a baby swing. Yeah. <laughs> like it oh. wouldn't have to be permanent. They're you know, usually but, made of like macrame. Right, those I've cute seen ones. Those. There's some really cute yes, ones. Yes, I love that idea. Really? Okay. okay. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah. Yes, I love that <laughs> okay. idea. That's Because yeah. we sit here, we read, like we look at the oh, view. I now want you to do this. Okay. It seems so cute. We want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so you're um, thinking that we would fill in on the low scale across here and lay on like a day bed? I mean, that have could you be thought about that? I haven't yeah, even I love that. Okay, idea. I love that. Feeling. Yeah. And then you'd have a chase lounge and look outside. And more oh, seating cool. when we have people over yeah. too. Yeah. And maybe a loose pad on top of it. And then you have a couple of loose pillows there. You are in a little cubby. That <laughs> yeah. would be yeah. nice. Okay. And then like and then like in terms of like if we wanted to put some books, like what do you do with uh, shelf like all the uh, way up. Okay, cool. And like all, how high I, mean, Whoa. I almost would go the whole way. Let me see. <laughs> that could be fun. And this one might need to be made out of metal. Oh, because okay. it needs to stay light on its feet. If right. that was out of wood, it might be a little clunky there. Oh, and the baby cool. will love this. And what yeah. if we put drawers underneath and you had toys? Um, Brilliant. Yeah, that's this is, that would be rad. Wow. Oh, light fixture. Yeah. Oh. What about it? Should we do that? Light fixture. Yeah. Where are you thinking? Well, oh. these ceilings present problems because we right. don't have electrical right. in mm -hmm. them. Right. So you do have to actually have the conduit. We know this. Mm -hmm. But I've learn to forgive them and then hang something that I think would really make this beautiful at night oh. with a glow in dim light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want you to do that. Okay, that's it. I think I have what I need. We're so excited. Thank, thank you, you so much. I'll let you see when I'm done. Right, thank you so much. All right, thank we'll you seeing. guys. It's beautiful thank already. You. Oh, thank okay. you. See you later. Bye. See you. Bye. That was such a fun, fun time. Yeah, She's great. just brightening up our home and had the best advice. And yeah, I loved uh, how she was like willing to hear our ideas, but offered so many great out of the box ideas as well. It's going to be a dream. Yeah, it's going to be great. When I first walked in, I was like, wait, what needs to happen here? It already glows. These people know what they're doing and they're such a darling couple. But in the end, we found a few things and I, I think it will make it better, especially with the baby coming. We also wanted to add a little bit of allure in the space with a light fixture, which isn't easy to do in these old homes, but worth it. So I'm gonna render this up and we'll show them. And I just adored them. Ugh, such a cute couple, I can't wait to come back. I think I'm done. I wanted to create a table that really described and felt like Rachel and Tanner's home. All of this is the way I felt when I walked in. I'm only enhancing what they started. And of course, with the views galore from in that space, it's, it's just utterly amazing. So to approach this space, I thought, well, with the new baby coming, everything needs to be soft. They mentioned a swing, and I thought of the baby swing that I knew about, but then as I got going through the design, I found the swing that actually was a daybed swing. And that was the making of the space. They could rock the baby, they could relax, and it does say fun the minute you see it. The walls of the space are already white, but there may be a hint, boring. 
So what could I do to enhance that without changing it much? I found this wall covering that's made of a rice paper. Very soft, very quiet, but yet we get texture. And then thinking of plaster on the walls, we picked an area to add this ribbed plaster texture. These are all just ways to enhance what they already have, but to also create more interest. At first, I thought there was a chance I would leave the sofa, but when I said that to Rachel, I almost felt like she wanted me to show her what I would do. So of course, I brought up this organic shaped sofa, and I tried to find a fabric that continued her mood and created this rhythm and this movement. Yes, it's another boucle, but you can see it sort of radiates water. And now laying that on a rug that also has texture. I love this ground. If you see how this has a different texture on the bottom, a fringe, and then this relief that's massive and cozy. Because I know the baby's gonna crawl around and they are too. The light fixtures in the ceiling at the different levels made of straw when you can't see the source of light and they just illuminate. I had to do the sea urchin and I think it also is the making of the room. In the kitchen, I wanted to add a little bit because from the great room looking in, I didn't really have a light fixture to look at. But again, I didn't want the typical pendant lights. So you can see the different lights I've added into the ceiling that are in the round, they're cylinders, and they're made of brass. I love how they're juxtaposed in that ceiling creating interest. Back to the main room. I know Tanner propositioned me to come up with something to put above the fireplace. He mentioned driftwood and Rachel and I were like, no. But the more I added to the gray room itself, I thought it was best to just take that slab material all the way up and just leave it at that, keeping it quiet. So let's look around the table. Everything is succulent. Everything is sanctuary, even soft and furry. And then the drapery fabric with just this hint of this amethyst in pink. I think this will really flutter in the wind when they open those doors and add that levity and light. All together, I think they can feel ethereal and relax with that baby and feel cozy and warm. And that is how your great room and your kitchen should feel. I think they will have an opportunity to live well in the space. And let's remember, even though we have a baby coming, we can live graciously.